Fulton County Sheriff's deputies are getting a hands on lesson in how to put out a fire at the jail. Now this training comes following a real live fire at the Rice Street facility over the winter. Now Colonel Mark Adger is the chief jailer and he invited us to come along. Sir, welcome back to Fulton today. Hi, Shania. Thanks for having me. So Colonel, first things first, a lot of people didn't even know that there was a fire at the jail. What happened? Yes, uh, back in late November of 2014, we had a fire that was set by inmates in one of our maximum security housing units. Uh, the inmates had set the fire in order to cause us to have to evacuate them from that zone so that they could uh, do some gang-related uh, retaliations against other inmates. Uh, what they did not know was that the fire would soon get out of hand and that it would become a dangerous situation for themselves and uh, it caused us to have to evacuate the entire zone, indeed the entire pod, in order to safe keep everybody from, from the harm that was caused. And so as a result of the fire and your response, you decided to do additional training. Uh, yes, we did. And, and basically, after any incident that we have or any uh, drills that we perform, we like to do what's called a post-event or post-incident debriefing, where we talk about all the things that we did right and all the things that we did wrong. And one of the things that we noticed that even though the staff performed well, we had a number of inexperienced staff that uh, because of the nature of the emergency uh, tended to, to question whether or not they were doing the right thing. And we figured that perhaps we could include in their training in the future some experience that would alleviate some of the stress that's involved in doing something for the first time. So we purchased the simulation equipment so that we can simulate the stressful situation caused by smoke and fire and subject them to that before they actually have to respond to an actual emergency so that they can adjust themselves accordingly. And sir, who did the training and who all had to be trained? Well, uh, we conduct in-house training here at the jail and we also do training at the uh, Fulton County Public Safety Training Center for all staff that's assigned to the jail. But essentially what we're, what we're going to do is this. All newly hired staff members will receive one week of training uh, two days of which will be the fire simulation training uh, that we're doing now. And then all staff assigned to the jail will receive this training here at the jail over the next year until everyone has been retrained with the simulation equipment. And then thereafter, at least at a minimum, once a year, everybody will be trained at the training center during their in-service training week so that this training is ongoing is going to reoccur and it's going to reinforce the things that they've learned in the past. And finally, your overall impressions now that the training is complete. Uh, after seeing, after doing a couple of uh, demos with the new equipment when we first unpacked it and wanted to see how the equipment was going to perform, uh, we, we brought in staff and we retrained them with the simulation equipment and the impression was favorable. All, all the staff members uh, remarked to us that they felt the training was realistic, that it put them in a situation that was safe, but closely mimicked what would happen during an actual fire or smoke emergency. And they felt good that the training well prepared them to handle any situation that may occur in the future. Colonel Mark Adger, great experience for us. Sir, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me.